Hey guys, here with the week eight update. Everybody's doing good. I uh, weighed everybody individually. Um, they're getting too big to weigh all together. I just have a simple postage scale. So I put them on the postage scale and weigh them and then I average the weights. Doe's average weight was uh, three pounds, five ounces, and the buck's average weight was three pounds, uh, six ounces. So they're pretty much the same overall. Uh, the uh, the averages are a little deceiving though because most of the does, I think three of the does are three pounds one ounce, and then two of the does are one of the does is three pounds three pounds nine ounces, and another one's three pounds seven ounces. So two of them are actually bigger than the rest of the group, and they bring up the total average. It's something right like that. The biggest one I had was one of the bucks is uh, three pounds ten ounces, which is six ounces away from being four pounds, which is the ideal commercial New Zealand weight. So I think I'm going to keep the biggest buck and I'm going to keep one of the does. Uh, my goal weight is going to be uh, at when I'm at least four pounds by ten or yeah, ten weeks. Ten weeks they need to be at least four pounds or I won't have them in my breeding schedule. Um, my Californians actually, I, I think, I'm pretty sure my Californians at 12 weeks hit 5 pounds and they hit 4 pounds by 10 weeks so I want them to at least be on par with my Californians and I'm going to crossbreed the two together once I get a new good New Zealand breed or a good New Zealand stock I'm going to crossbreed them with the Californians because I want the more meatier rabbit so that's uh, the update for this week uh, I'll keep you posted